What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of King Print where I cover all things screen printing and money making. Now in this video what I'm doing here is knocking out a 100 plus shirt order that's going to take me a few hours to get done. It's a two color print front and one color print back. I already knocked out the backs, now it's time to get the fronts out. What I'm doing here is lining everything up. It is going to be a wet on wet, purple and white. What you want to do is make sure you have guides printed into your transfer to make it that much easier when you're lining up. Be sure and stay to the end so you can see how I print a Youth Extra Small t-shirt and an infant onesie with the same adult screens and the same adult palettes. I've had a few people ask me about those squeegee holders. It's not a necessity, but it makes the job a little bit easier, at least to me anyway. Especially when you have a pocket print or you're doing uh, two colors on one screen, they work pretty good. So here I ran out of purple ink, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up instead of going out and getting some more. I always start with the lightest base color. You wanna mix in that dark gradually. You don't wanna add too much dark ink because it's harder to bring that color back if you need to. So I'm really eyeballing it. I'm not going off a color chart or Pantone or anything like that. What I'm trying to find here is the same purple that I've previously used on this customer's order. Now, this is a crazy sped up part of mixing the ink. It took a long time to mix this ink to make sure that everything is mixed correctly and you have consistency throughout your color. So that took quite a while to mix. So you see there the top ink on the squeegee is the original ink and the bottom ink is the ink that I mixed. It matches up pretty good. Looks nice. So that's the wet on wet. I hit the purple first and come back with the white. So once you got everything lined up, got all your screens inked up, nothing left but to burn out this order. Whenever you're doing wet on wet, you wanna go with your darkest color first and then come back with the light. Because whatever the second color is, that screen is gonna pick up that color. So if you go with lightest first, it's gonna take off a lot of that color and your print's gonna come out uh, looking kind of uh, washed out. This order here, I made a good 400 bucks profit, uh, two hours of work, not bad.
So this is the Youth Extra Small T-shirt. The reason I grabbed the ink from the sides is because over time you start getting ink build up on the sides and you just want to make sure that your screen stays clean. Now if you're familiar with printing Youth Extra Small T-shirts, you know they won't fit on a regular adult palette. Um, so you actually have to go out and change your palette and line everything up and that just becomes very time consuming. And what I'm doing there is putting paper on the bottom of the, the wet part of the screen because if you don't do that, uh, when you're running this uh, Youth Extra Small is when it lifts up, it's gonna move on you. So once you lay that wet part back down, it's gonna blotch out. So what I do here, if I'm not running a, a second color or having a flash and come back, I just lay it on top of my palette, my adult palette. I run it through the flash dryer, get all that moisture out of it. Then I come back and line it up, make sure it's all lined up and I'll just give it my, my pass. Not sure what you need to get started or just wanna upgrade your equipment. Be sure and check out my Amazon store for the best deals on sale for screen print supplies and products all in one place. See this is my onesie here. The reason I lay that paper in the bottom of the onesie is because you might get over print and you don't want it to get on your palette. I put that paper also inside of the onesie because of the overprint, it's not gonna get on the back of the onesie, it'll just get on that paper. Throw it through the flash dryer to get all the moisture out of it. Now the Northwest Junior on the side is not gonna fit on this onesie here, so I'm gonna have to block that out. All right, so there goes a white print and you gotta hit it on your first try. See how when I lift it up, it moves. So there's no way if, if the ink didn't clear in certain spots that you can go back down and hit it again. So you gotta make sure that the ink clears the first time. Look at that, again, just made it. Very happy with the way that came out. out my channel and if you did find this helpful please like and subscribe don't forget to check out all my other screen print videos click the link in my description for screen print supplies on sale right now from amazon and check you on the next one